good evening and welcome to Prime of Midlife. This is a I don't know what I'm doing video, so the first thing we're going to do is put the chicken in so it can start cooking. Um, basically this is, I had some chicken and I thought, what am I going to do with it? Obviously turn it up because that didn't work. Um, and I don't particularly have anything and I thought really, you can't now be just throwing in some curry sauce. You need to do something inventive. So we have here the bowl that we had the chicken in and I've written down the um, quantities so that you can work out what we've got. Now let me just see if I can move this a bit closer so you can see. Move that a bit more, move that a bit more. Yeah, you can just about see that. So, we have chicken, which we're just going to fry along. And in here we have pasta, slowly boiling. With the lid on to save energy, as Patrick keeps telling me. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some onions. And give that a bit of a stir. And then we're just going to. Can you still see this bit yet? Right, okay, right up in the corner. Then we're going to try the crushing garlic with the knife thing. I've never tried that, so wish me luck. Oh, that works rather well. So, as you can see, we have squished the garlic, so we're just going to do some. Topping toppings, but I have learnt through various methods that one does not put the garlic in at the beginning, otherwise it will overcook. So we'll let that do its thing. Pasta's almost ready. Now, I don't have a name for this, I don't know what it's going to taste like, but it's very, very simple. We have chicken, onion, but actually I have some tomatoes here, as you can see. I actually want to chop them up a bit smaller. Um, these are the ones I bought last week, so they need to be used. The chicken came out of the freezer this morning, so it was ready for tonight. Right, now we're going to add in some tomatoes. Oh, missed tomatoes and some garlic. Now, this is the perfect time for seasonings. If you have been watching this channel for any length of time, you will know seasonings are not my strong point. I very seldom used to season anything at all. Oh, that water's rather hot. But today, we are going in with salt and pepper. We've got the rock salt refilled. And some salt. Going to have some pepper. Going to give that a bit stir. Get the bits down from the edges. See, that's cooking along nicely. We are then going to throw in some. This is homemade radish powder. I got radishes which I don't eat in a too good to go bag. And I found radishes too peppery for me. However, having learned through this journey of mine that powder is a good way to give you a flavour without it being too much, we thought we'd just add in some radish powder which will just give it a bit of a bite without it being too spicy for me. So, 
there we go this is looking nice then of course because i can stand it we're going to do some paprika because we like paprika and there we go that's us almost done all we have to do now is give it a little bit more sauce and I was like how am I going to do that then I had the fantabulous idea that I have I have some garlic and herb which has not yet been opened so we are going to take a spoon and put about a third of that tub in and see how we get on. I have no clue how this is going to work. I have never really done this before. But I'm hoping that it gives me a bit of a creamy sauce with a bit of flavour. Oh, this is looking good. Oh, I'm liking the look of this. This is looking very good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drain the pasta while that's cooking. Try not to burn my fingers while I do it. Does anybody else agree with me? This is looking absolutely lush. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cover the microphone. Kathleen! Give the child a yell, switch off the power, throw in the pasta and stir it round. Now, I don't always yell on Kathleen like that, but she had been warned that I was making a thing. That she was going to be a guinea pig. Does that not look rather lush? I just see the Philadelphia and I'm already happy. And there you go. Okay, so we're just mixing it in just now. Would you like to take a taste, my dear? Yeah, don't use that bowl. That's the bowl I had the chicken in when it was raw. Right, there we go. Go for it. So that is... I've got no idea what to name it. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. But I'm hoping that Kathleen's going to tell me that it tastes rather nice when she finishes blowing it from the nuclear level. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, we like that. That is mm -hmm. edible. Mummy can eat it as well? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Thoughts on a name, please? And I will catch you later. <laughs>